Hey there, RPs, this is part two of the position game video for Ryback teaming up with Team Hell No to face off against the three members of the Shield, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins. Now in part one, I just went over every single one of my predictions for every single matchup on the TLC card in part two. As usual, I'll just go into detail about the matchup. Why do I think Ryback and Team Hell No are gonna win the matchup? Well, first off, let's just go over what happened in the past couple of weeks and how the shield came about and why why are we having this match in the first place well initially we kind of all started at hell in a cell uh, hell in a cell you had cm punk versus ryback one-on-one -on -one for the WWE championship ryback being undefeated cm punk being the champion for such a long time so somebody had was gonna lose something either CM Punk was gonna lose his championship or Ryback was gonna lose that undefeated streak and no longer be undefeated so Ryback was about to, about to win sorry and uh, Brad Maddox the referee decides to get involved and low blows Ryback and then CM Punk pins him so Ryback pretty much gets you know screwed over in the matchup and then because of that Ryback gets another match he gets a rematch against the champion CM Punk but this time, John Cena is also involved in the matchup, so it's CM Punk defending the title against both Ryback and John Cena. And once again, Ryback was about to win the matchup after hitting the shell shock on John Cena. What happens this time? These three guys just come in the ring and start attacking Ryback. We then find out, or you know, see for ourselves, that it's Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns, although initially, I didn't know who Roman Reigns was. I had no clue who this guy was. I don't I don't watch NXT. I just watch NXT like season one, I think, and maybe two. Maybe even three. No, I didn't watch three. I think I just watched one and two. But anyways, back to what I was saying. They attack right back and then do a triple power bomb on him through the announcer's table. And that allows CM Punk to you know win the matchup by pinning John Cena after, you know, right back did the work by hitting the shell shock on John Cena. So then, you know, the following weeks, they start attacking Ryback and stuff like that. Not only Ryback, they attack Ryback, and they also attack other superstars as well. And they also gave an explanation on why they did what they did and why they're doing what they're doing. Why are they attacking all these superstars? Is there a reason for it? Are they affiliated with CM Punk? First of all, they pointed out that they're not affiliated with CM Punk. And, uh, you know, they're not aligned with him. They don't have an alliance with CM Punk or anything like that. But what they're doing is they're fighting for injustice. So if they find something to be unfair or, you know, I guess, uh, injustified or basically unfair, uh, they're going to get involved and, you know, to take care of it. So they thought, you know, it wasn't fair for CM Punk to defend the championship against a guy he had already beaten in Ryback. And then they also attacked Randy Orton, so I guess they thought it, when Randy was facing Brad Maddox, after he faced off against Brad Maddox and beat him, they attacked Randy Orton, and the reasoning behind that was, I guess, they thought it wasn't fair for Brad Maddox to face somebody like Randy Orton for, uh, for a matchup to gain a contract. And they also attacked John Cena. And on top of that, they also attacked Kane. Kane was actually the first one targeted by, well, not the first one, but the first one out of Team Hell No to be targeted by the Shield when there was an, a Raw active pool to determine who was going to face CM Punk on Raw. The fans picked Kane. So it was Kane versus CM Punk. And towards the end of the matchup, Kane got distracted when he saw the Shield in the crowd. And because of that, CM Punk won the matchup with the GTS and after he wins the matchup they get in the ring and they actually attack Kane and that pretty much started the whole you know them attacking Team Hell No like every single week and on top of attacking Team Hell No, Ryback, uh, Randy Orton, all these top stars they also attacked Tyson Kidd and Santino Morello on main events which, so far, they haven't given any reasoning for it. I mean, is there a reasoning? I don't know. By the way, check out this sick powerbomb on the steel steps. How cool is that? I like the uh, the physics system in this game. Anyways, uh, yeah, so they attacked also Tyson Kidd and Santino Morella when they were in the match. And they also attacked The Miz when The Miz challenged or invited CM Punk to a lie detector test on Miz TV. 
So they attacked the Miz before you know CM Punk got the chance to answer the big question on whether or not he was affiliated with the Shield and uh, Brad Maddox. They started attacking the Miz, and the reasoning for it is because I think they said. They thought it wasn't fair for CM Punk to have to undergo a lie detector test. So now while they've done all these attacks on all these superstars, they haven't actually had a matchup on Raw, Main Event, Superstars, SmackDown. This will actually be their first matchup as a team, as the, Sh as the Shield. You know, they've had matches on NXT, but as far as, you know, Raw, SmackDown, or pay-per-views they've never had any matches this being their first one and actually they weren't even supposed to be in this matchup in the first place since this match the tlc match for the for the show was initially supposed to be cm punk versus ryback one-on-one -on -one for the WWE championship in a tlc match where he actually had to climb up the ladder and grab the championship which, by the way, I'd like to point out that the TLC match here is not your typical TLC match. It's actually a TLC match. Basically, you can you can use tables, ladders, and chairs, but there's nothing to grab, you know, on top of the ladder. You don't have to grab anything. You actually win the matchup by pinfall or submission. And, you know, they're saying that it's the first time you can do that, but pr that makes it pretty much just a... No disqualification match or extreme rules match if you ask me, you know, <laughs> it's not really a TLC match I mean, yeah, you can use tables ladders and chairs But what makes a TLC match in my opinion is the fact that you know, you climb the ladder and grab something on top like a championship or well, I don't know something but in this case you win by pinfall and submission, but you can use those weapons Kind of sounds like an extreme rules match, but you know, whatever so, uh, what was I saying again? So yeah, this is their first match, and initially it was going to be a WWE Championship match, but CM Punk, the champion, had to undergo a knee surgery, so he can't compete at TLC. But on Raw, he did point out that he will be at TLC watching. He'll be watch. well, he said he's going to be watching as the Shield due to Ryback, what CM Punk did to him. Since they're saying that CM Punk got injured, when Ryback, in that short encounter with Ryback, when Ryback came out and shell-shocked CM Punk, hit him with, with a steel chair, with a ladder, and then put him through a table via powerbomb. So, you know, with CM Punk watching, maybe he didn't interfere. Maybe he's going to interfere in the Shield's favor. We don't know. Uh, but, uh, so, why do I think Ryback, you know, and his team are, are going to win the matchup? Well, Ryback's already lost the Hell in a Cell match against CM Punk. And the triple threat match at Survivor Series for the championship as well. So he's lost the past two pay-per-view matches he's had. I don't think he'd lose the third one. I mean, this is a six-man tag team match. So, you know, they could pin Daniel Bryan or Kane. But, I don't know. I just think Ryback and Daniel Bryan and Kane are going to win the matchup. If you look at, for example, Nexus. You know, I think their first match was... The Nexus versus Team WWE, which was John Cena, uh, Edge, Chris Jericho, Bret Hart, John Morrison, and Art Shoof, and maybe some other superstars, I'm not sure. And they actually lost their first matchup. Now, that doesn't mean the Shield is automatically going to lose their matchup, too, just because they're another stable. Actually, they might win the matchup. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the Shield wins the matchup. I could see this match going either way. Honestly, I would prefer the Shield to win the matchup, but I just don't think Ryback's going to lose, you know, a third straight pay-per-view match. And on top of that, another big reason why I think the face team's going to win here is that the Shield have attacked so many faces, you know, so many guys like The Miz, uh, Randy, Tyson Kidd, Santino Morella, uh, John Cena, that... I could see those guys, maybe not John Cena, but I could see maybe Randy, The Miz, wanting to get revenge and come out during the matchup and just attack The Shield or something like that. So anyways, that's pretty much it for my detailed prediction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, as always, you can click that like button. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me out. With that said, I'm out. See you guys.